Good morning, and welcome to Crenshaw Online. We are so excited that each and every one of you have joined us for this worship experience on today. We pray that God has a word for each and every one of you. We believe here at Crenshaw that God has something specific that God wants to say to you today. And so no matter where you are, we invite you today to hear what God has just for you. Beloved, we ask that while you are here with us today, and we want to truly connect with you in any way that we can. And so we invite you to join us in the chats that are available to simply tell us what God is doing in your life, how God is moving, and if there's anything that we, the church, can help you walk into in the upcoming days. Beloved, we will also encourage you while you're here worshiping with us to simply uh, worship as you see fit. To simply say thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, praise the Lord, preach, preacher. Just type those things in the chat to create your own worship experience with us today. And finally, beloved, we would love for you to, if you're joining us on Facebook, to start a watch party with us right now. This will enable all of your friends and family to join live in worship with you on today. Now, beloved, we ask that you would stay tuned for what God has in store as praise and worship is already in progress. Hey. Then place me on the rock that stands And I hold true to the one who breaks my fall And lives me time and time again Oh my God, so good, you never give up You never give up on me Oh, what joy I found because of your love because of your love for me Oh my God, so good You never give up You never give up on me Oh, what joy I found Because of your love Because of your love for me By the highest price, this grace outweighing all my shame. Cause I made you through the power of sacrifice. From death now, raise the life again. Oh my God, so good. You never give up, you never give up on me. Oh, what joy. as we lift up the name of Jesus I want you to make it loud be an example for your children or just lift it up with everything you've got just just sing it out I'm not a slave come on sing it I'm not a slave to sin so I'm singing you are good come on buried with Christ to rise in your freedom you are good when you make a promise Jesus you keep it you are good so I praise your name as long as I'm breathing As you are Shout it out! I'm not a slave to sit so I'm singing You are good Never give up. 
because of your love, because of your love for me. Hey, oh my God, so good. Oh, you never give up on me. Oh, what joy I found because of your love. To rise in your freedom, you are good. When you make a promise, Jesus, you keep it. You are good. So I'll praise your name as long as I'm free. Yes, you are put these words on your heart. Come on. And I'm not a slave to sin, so I'm singing. You are good. Buried with Christ to rise in your freedom You are good When you make a promise, Jesus, you keep it You are good, yeah So I praise your name as long as I'm breathing You are good, yeah We invite you to join us in these gathering words of worship Speaking words of love, God creates us, God calls us, and God claims us as his own. Speaking words of love, we too can create, we can call and claim God's beauty and glory in the world. Beloved, God's strong voice calls us to worship, calling us to sing and offer praise. God's creative voice calls us to worship, calling us to life and light. God's loving voice calls us to worship, calling us to love and be loved. I invite you this morning to listen for the voice of God as he calls us now. Let us pray. Word of God, speak. For your servants are listening. Spirit of creation and renewal, hover over our gathering this day wherever we are. Just as you hovered over creation on that first day, enter into our hearts and our lives as you did at the day of our baptism. Descend on us like a dove as you did on Jesus' day of baptism that we may hear again and hear your words of love as well as your words of adoption. Speak from the heavens into our minds, God, that we may perceive your words of guidance and wisdom. Lord God, we need your wisdom and your guidance in this world today that we are living in. We have seen so many things just this week alone that are mind boggling. Things that we never thought we would ever see in our lifetime. 
things, Lord God, are so changing in this world. And Lord God, we, your saints, the ones that you have called, we have answered your call, and we have taken up the mandate to go and transform this world for you. And so God, we need your guidance and we need your wisdom so that we, God, can know that it is you and know then that we are to follow the things that are of you and not of this world. Help us, Lord God, to begin to learn how to separate things of the world and things of you and help us not to live in the midst of those things of this world, but to only grab hold of those things that are of you that will bring forth life and that would ultimately bring us closer to you. So God, help us to be able to decipher your word. Help us to understand your wisdom that is our wisdom that we do the things that you desire that will bring forth hope in this world. Hope that only lies in Jesus Christ. So God, I ask today through this worship experience that somebody might hear your voice, hear your words, and be so inclined to change their ways to follow you. Lord God, let it happen this day through your songs, through your message, through your acts that we do here today. May it bring you glory. In the name of Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen. Lord, it's been a year of trials, questions, and loss. But we are not a people without hope. We look to you. We're asking you to do what only you can do. We're asking you to make next year into something beautiful. God, make next year about hope and healing and reconciliation and progress. Make next year about your word and your love and your mission and your power. Next year, turn our weakness into strength. Turn our tears into a song. Turn our pain into laughter and turn our scars into a story. A story of your mercy and grace. Make next year about you. In your glory. In your fame. Not ours. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. Amen. The scripture lesson for this morning is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 57, verses 18 and 19. I invite you to join me in the reading of God's holy word. It reads, I have seen his way but I will heal him. I will lead him and restore comfort to him and his mourners, creating words of praise. The Lord says, peace, peace, to the one who is far or near, and I will heal him. Thus ends the reading of God's holy word. I pray that you are encouraged by this word today and that it will lift you up as you go about your day. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.
Beloved, we gather here this morning embarking on this new year of 2021. And I wanted to come with something this morning as we begin this new year uh, with something that would speak to us on this day as we start off right in this new year. There are some lingering things of 2020 that are we're all still dealing with. The coronavirus is continuing to spread, it's continuing to affect pain and hurt throughout our world. And even as we move into a new year, we are still dealing with the effects. There are some other things that you might be dealing with as well. And so I wanted to find something through God's word that would speak to us in this new season on conquering our hurts and our habits and our hangups. In 2020, ask yourself, what are you running from? What problem don't you want to face that motivates you and drives you to go, go, go? What is it? And whatever it is, I'm sure you are tired. Fear, frustration, fatigue, and then there is failure. When you try to play God, that's one job description that you're guaranteed to fail at. Proverbs 28, 13 says, he who conceals his sin does not prosper, but whoever confesses and renounces them finds mercy. You need to be honest and open about your weaknesses. You need to be open and honest, honest about your faults. You need to be open and honest about your failures. You must understand, beloved, the cause. Then the step to victory is recognizing the consequences of the problem of playing God. Fear, fatigue, frustration, and failure. Paul concludes in verse 24, what a wretched man I am, he says. Who will rescue me from this body of death? We could simply rephrase that by saying, who will free me from this life that is dominated by sin? Then he answers his own question by simply saying, thanks be to God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. You see, beloved, even though sin never relents, and your behavior will always be bothersome, the good news is this, that you don't have to spend the entirety of your Christian life living in frustration. You do not have to live your life in fear. You do not have to live your life fatigued. You do not have to live your life being a failure. The birthright for every believer is victory. And you can become an overcomer in 2021. I know last year there are some things that might have brought you to your knees. There are some things that may have almost laid you out. But I am telling you that in 2021 that you can be victorious. Paul says sin shall not be your master. In all these things we are more than conquerors. 
So in 2021, you will experience victory in this Christian life when you allow Jesus to resolve the tension between who you are and who you want to be. In order, beloved, to conquer the hurts as well as the habits and the hangups of 2020, you must understand the cause and then recognize the consequences of your problem and then receive the cure. 2021, you must let go and let God take control. Beloved, when you admit your powerlessness, and when you allow Jesus to resolve the tension between who you are and who you want to be, you see, when I realize that I am not God, I can't control everything, I admit that I am powerless to change my past. It hurts, and I still remember what happened, but all the resentment in the world isn't going to change what happened in the past. I am powerless to change my past. Number two, I admit that I am powerless to control other people. I try, I like to manipulate them, I use all kinds of little gimmicks, but guess what? It doesn't work. Why? Because I am responsible for my actions, not theirs, and I can control other people. I am powerless to change my past. I am powerless to control other people. And I am powerless to cope with my harmful habits, behaviors, and actions. I've got to admit these things. In this new year, I've got to admit that I am powerless to change my past. I must admit that I am powerless to control other people. And I must admit that I am powerless to cope with my harmful habits, behaviors, and actions. You see, beloved, good intentions are not enough. Willpower is not enough. You need something more than willpower. You need a source of power beyond yourself. Well, beloved, I've got the answer for you this year. You need God. Why? Because God made you to need him. James tells us God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Grace is the power to change. Grace is the power God gives me to make the changes in my life that he wants me to make. And for you to recover from your hurts and your habits and your hangups in your life, you need the grace of God. So how do you get it? I'm glad you asked. There is only one way. God gives it to the humble. Some of you today feel like one part of you wants to be good, holy, and righteous, while the other part of you continues to sin and fail. If you're in the midst of that struggle, I want you to know that right now, today, you can have victory. You can start off this new year being victorious. Beloved, all you have to do is simply begin to walk in a new way. Why? Because you are more than conquerors through him who loves us. I encourage you this year to admit that I'm not God and that I don't have it all together as much as I like everybody to think that I do. I don't have it all together. If you tell that to somebody, they're not going to be surprised because guess what? They know it already. God knows it. You even know it, know it, and you just need to admit it. That's all it is. Admit that you don't have it all together. It simply means being honest and facing a problem that you've wanted to ignore for a very long time. Beloved, you want to win today? because that's the whole goal of this series. I want you to win today so that winning today, you'll win every day. Then you gotta remember that your reach will always exceed your grasp. But guess what? Don't stop reaching as far as you can. When you fall down, get up and do what? Try again. The answer in 2021 is not in political leadership, or lack of leadership. The answer to 2021 
is in Jesus Christ. He is our Lord and our Savior. You got to cling to him and his mercy. Rely upon his grace. He offers you full and complete forgiveness. Let it motivate you. Try and try again in 2021 until you're walking in victory and you bury dead yesterdays. In 2021, all of us need, beloved, to conquer hurts, habits, and hang-ups because none of us are perfect. The world is imperfect, and guess what? We've all been hurt. We all have habits, and we all have hang-ups that we would like to change. Everybody needs victory. Regardless of what your problem is, whether it's a hurt, a habit, or a hang-up, I don't want your 2021 to end up with fatigue, failure, and frustration. There were too many people that ended out last year fatigued, failing, and frustrated. The prophet Isaiah 43 tells us, but now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Why? For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. So here it is. How do you handle and how do you overcome the hurts in your life? How do you handle and overcome the habits that are messing up your life? And how do you handle and overcome the hangups that have caused you such pain in your life? You have got to get past denial. Stop excusing yourself by saying, oh, really, it's, it's no problem. Oh, no, no, I'm fine. Oh, no, I can handle it. How did that work for you last year? You know, everything is going well so far under the circumstances. But the bottom line is that you just jumped off a building and are halfway down. You haven't hit the bottom yet, so we have to learn how to deal with denial. You see, beloved, there was a lost and found ad in the paper that illustrated this point many years ago. It said, lost three-legged dog, blind in right eye, left ear missing, broken tail, recently castrated, and answers to the name Lucky. Now, I don't know about you, but that's what I call denial. So what's the remedy to denial? Well, God's remedy for denial is plain. You see, we rarely change our course when we see fire, but we respond when we feel the heat. We don't change until our fear of change is exceeded by the pain. And most people are not ready to face their hurts, their habits, or their hangups until they are forced and there is no other option. So God uses crisis, God uses confrontation, and God uses catastrophe to get your attention, to force you to move forward from the things that have messed up your life. Crisis, such as an illness, excessive stress, losing your job, confrontation when somebody cares enough to say you're blowing it you're about to lose your family you're about to lose your health you're about to lose your job confrontation catastrophe is when the bottom falls out physically emotionally spiritually financially or relationally and you hit rock bottom what happens is often that God has to step back and let us feel the full impact of our own decisions. You want to be God? 
okay. And he'll just step back and let you be God. And then you reap what you sow and you feel the full impact that causes a catastrophe in your life. You see, beloved, I see this world in the same basket. There is that concept of God just stepping back and now we are feeling the full impact that has caused a catastrophe in the world. Isaiah 43, 3 says, I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. You must sincerely believe, beloved, that God exists, that you matter to him, and that God has the power to help you conquer your hurts, your habits, and your hang-ups. Hebrews 11.6 says anyone who comes to him must believe that God exists and that God rewards those who earnestly seek him. You see, beloved, it's real simple. Believe and receive today. First, you've got to acknowledge the existence of God and believe that God exists. Second, you must understand the character of God and believe that God does no care and have the power to help you. And then third, you must accept God's offer to help. You've got to receive him into your life. One, two, three. Ask Jesus Christ to place his spirit in you. Say, I need help. God, I need your help in my life. Conquering hurts, habits, and hang-ups, it's not easy. That's why we're going to spend seven weeks trying to go through this, beloved. It means facing up to some real problems that you haven't wanted to deal with. It means taking some risk. It means being honest and trusting God. But when you take this step, all of a sudden, it's no longer a matter of willpower. God says, I will be with you. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep you over. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. God says, I will be with you this week. God says, I will be with you this month. God says, I will be with you this year. God says, I will be with you for the rest of your life as you face those issues that you have been afraid to face all of your life. But God says, if you are willing to take that step, if you are willing to admit, God says, no matter what you go through, I'm going to be there with you. I'm going to go through it with you. Where you are hurting today, God says, I'll be there with you. So I ask you, where are you hurting today? Are you going through some deep waters? Do you feel like you're going under for the last time? Are you going through the fire right now and the heat is on in your life? You're either going to get burned up or you're going to get burned out? Do you feel like you're stuck, beloved, in a rut and feel powerless to change? I want to convey to you today that there is a higher power. And you, beloved, can simply plug into it. His name is Jesus Christ. It is the name above all names. It is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I invite you to open your heart and your life to Christ today. Take this step and respond to God. Our Bible says that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And by that we believe that through 2020 or 2021, God has the power to move mountains. Amen. We 
y'all sing this song with us? My hometowns are still being moved. Strongholds are still being loose. God, we believe it. Yes, we can see that. Wonders are still what you do. And bodies are still being raised.
beloved, I am so glad that you joined us for this worship experience on today. I pray that your lives were changed for the better. That is our goal every Sunday to impart the word of God, to celebrate God's glory in this place so that lives are changed for the better. I pray that today's worship experience encouraged you so that you can now rise from where you are and spread the good news to all that you encounter. I pray that God's best is in your life. And I pray that as we go forth on this day, that the spirit of the living God would continue to hover over you and your family. Amidst a noisy world, make way to listen for God. In the busiest of days, find time to listen for God. For in the listening, we finally hear this truth that we are beloved children of God, created in love, created for love, and created to love. So I encourage you on this day to go out there into this world and listen and to love. Beloved, until next week, may all God's praise be unto him and blessings upon you. May you strive to accomplish God's will in your life. Until next week, same time, same channel, we invite you to win the day. Thank <laughs> you.